Do you ever find yourself in a house that looks like this? Do your friends come over, come in your house, and explode from frustration? Well then, I've got the solution for you. Let's turn this box into a house that rocks. Hey guys, what is up the Diocubist here? I'm not that good at cinematic things. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit there. That was like 10 seconds, but yeah. Well, I'm gonna show you how to turn a box, a house like this with a, not the best interior, but it, it's okay. But let's turn this house into this one. And this one looks a little bit better. It's got a lot more things in it, okay? For example, this house has one floor. This house has one floor that looks beautiful and not crabby. The second floor, which is the attic. And then it's got a nice deck area where you can come up here and you can just shoot things with all your bows and furnaces. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so we've got two identical houses right here and here. Let's show you how to turn a box into a house that rocks. Now, the only reason I chose that terminology was because box and rocks rhyme, and I couldn't think of another adjective to rhyme. But uh, first of all, let's talk about texture on the outside and depth, okay? So you see the front of this build, it's just flat, okay? And, and it's flat here too, and, and that's fine sometimes. But if you want to make your house look a little bit above average, we're going to go ahead and just break out these supports here. So let's say you had a box, okay? We're going to extend them one out diagonally from where they were. So just diagonally out. And we're going to do that on all four of these, okay? This is going to be called framing the house. Now, I don't know all the fancy terminology, all the architecture talk, but I do know how to make a house that doesn't look like a box because I used to build boxes. I used to be a box builder. I'll show you what I built. Just built that real quick, but that's what essentially what I used to live in, okay? And since then, I've gotten a little bit better at houses. So, let's let, let's just keep going here. So, we're going to fill in where we had the oak log supports, and we're just going to... Oh, I need to grab these panes back. Just a reminder that I'm set for myself. But, uh, yeah, we're going to frame the house right now, okay? So, now we've got the house, and it has a little more depth. So, what I mean by that is, is you, you look on the side, and it's not just all one block, okay? Now, obviously, we're not even close to being done. We're, we're not close, okay? If you thought we were close you're wrong so the windows <laughs> let's start let's start with the windows here so first of all there's grass below them okay so you want to make sure whatever material you build the wall with you also don't want to build like under you want to build under the glass with it as well now in here we see that well the floor material wall material and ceiling material are all the same block and you know that's okay but if you want to make the build look good that's not okay um, another thing is there's a lot of torches here. You can space them out a little more evenly. So we could do it something like that. But since there's, well, since there's an uneven amount of uh, wall spaces here, we can just, well, there is an even amount, I guess. But it's, it's, if it's odd, it's easier to space. But something like that can make your build look a whole lot better. And the interior, well, we'll get to the interior later. But let's go ahead and just remove all these windows. So another thing is... Well, like, see a window like that, it's off-center, and it just doesn't look right. It may look a little better if it was like that, and then maybe filled in with, like, something like that. But otherwise, it just looks a little funky, so we're just gonna fill them all in. Be and, okay, I, I know I'm gonna say and this and that and a lot, because I'm just sort of thinking of these things. So, second of all, having a door, like, framed with a window just it looks wrong okay and this door is also off center okay it's not it's not in the center of the build it would look a little better if it was like that but st then again it's still off center so we're gonna mark the center there with these torches so double doors are always an option doesn't matter how big or how small the build is but double doors are always good let's grab some stairs here made of oak logs so we probably won't need those again and let's go ahead and make our doorway. So we're gonna line the doorway in torches. We're gonna break out a two by three area. We're gonna put upside down stairs. And then we're gonna place the wall material on where the door is gonna go, of course. And then place the doors from the inside of the build. Now on the inside, it looks kind of one dimensional, but let's come out here and see how that looks. You've got this plane right here. So one, two, three, and then four. So that's four levels of uh, depth right there. And that, may that makes the build look a whole heck of a lot better. So you may be thinking, Neo, come on, dude. This house still is just a box. Well, let's go ahead and improve it. So windows, okay? You want to make them somewhat symmetrical, like from wall to wall. So see, that looks a whole lot better than it did. Because previously, well, it, it didn't look too good. So we're going to move these torches down, okay? 
we're gonna go on this side we're gonna design some windows now usually you don't want your windows to all be the same and what I mean by that is on every wall they cannot be the same exact pattern because if they're the same exact pattern they're gonna look a little weird okay so from the inside of the build you can see that if you use glass blocks they'll sort of touch diagonally on this intersection right here and that looks a little weird so glass panes are always good to use because you can you can get more out of them I guess in a build so we're gonna go ahead and do a 2 by 2 window right here and then we did one right here so let's just do a little four window like this and see we got variation in the windows so no wall has the same window design and that's very good because from the outside it's gonna make your build look more interesting okay it's not gonna be the exact same wall design on every side now of course we're not even close to being done guys look at the roof okay it is completely flat and again guys that's fine for most people but if you want it to look good well you're well, I mean, good is an opinion, okay? I'm just saying, like, what most people would think is good would not be that, okay? That, 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 a flat roof like that just looks, I don't know, it just looks weird. But you can see we're already coming along quite, quite, quite well because it, it, it used to look like that, you know, there was nothing under the glass blocks and they just looked weird, but there's no glass blocks anymore and everything's not weird. Let's get to the inside. Let, let's do something here. So see our walls and ceiling were oak wood. Let's go ahead and variate the materials some because a variation in materials is really going to help out your build and don't get me started on the inside of this build we'll, we'll fix it in a minute it's not that it's bad necessarily it's just very plain Jane and there's a lot of cool things you can do in Minecraft that people don't realize and I try to do them in my tutorials and if you're watching this and new to my channel I have so many house tutorials if you want to look at them but let's let's finish this video for now so now we've got a different material for the floor a different material for the walls and we're gonna do a different material for the ceiling because if we stick with the same material repeatedly it's gonna look weird okay it really is so let's start off by making the roof okay roofs are one of the hardest things and I'm really not the best at them but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys sort of how I do my roofs okay so we're gonna put some upside down stairs in between the logs and we're gonna repeat that same pattern on the other side of the build and again just it, it, it's all about I don't know the word. It's all about depth, okay? Because if your roof is one dimensional, then the rest of your build is going to be one dimensional. So if it's a flat surface, it's going to look a little weird. You know, how many roofs do you see in real life aside from the, some extreme, like, neo-modernism builds that are just flat roofed? I mean, none. I mean, they all have, you know, a colonial roof or a Victorian roof or something. I, I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but all I'm doing, and it's really not hard, is just placing stairs one on top of the other with a set of upside down and then right side up. So essentially, you have, like, three stairs here. You got one there and there, and then all you have to do is connect them with stairs that are upside down below them. It's not really hard to build a roof. Is this going to be the best roof in the world? No. Is it supposed to be? Of course not. It's just a, it's just a basic roof. So, another tip I can give is you can have a lot of space in your attic, okay? So let's grab the normal stone brick here, and let's fill in the outer wall, so like, like the outer block with these just uh, blocks, not the slabs. And then once we have done that, fill in the rest with slabs, and that's going to give us ample room in our attic so see we are we added another layer to the build without building really anything besides a roof and isn't that pretty cool okay I think that's awesome because well most people they wouldn't bother building a roof and that's fine but roofs they're not that hard and I've, I've never been super good at them but they make the build look a whole lot better so you're thinking Neo okay so that's the roof but where's the rest of the house good point so let's come in here and we're gonna break all the upside down stairs that we can in this row right here okay and then we're just going to fill in the wall like this and as you can see once it's all filled in you can't see anything nothing at all it looks like that's supposed to be the roof and it is that's supposed to, this is part of the build now all you have to do to merge it is just add in these blocks right here just two blocks and we're gonna make this box rocks <laughs> okay I can't keep saying that anymore we're gonna make this box rocks okay so now we've got this we from went from this to this and it does look better okay it does look better could it be improved sure so let's go on the side here and let's do a little bit of framing with our windows okay so do you see what I did there on the outside okay we made the windows look a little bit more protected so let me do it again we're gonna start off right here and we're just gonna go up one onto this top level of the upside down stair and then just go over and that's pretty simple that's not what I did on this side though but that is one way you could do it but I'm gonna stick with how I did it on the other side so we're gonna start off on the top half of this oak log and then just move one up and now our windows look like they're somewhat protected I wouldn't do the same thing over here because you're gonna 
Well, I mean, to be quite frank, I mean, you, you could do something like that, but that just looks, well, I mean, it doesn't look super terrible, but I don't know. I think for this build, we're, we're not, we're not going to do that, okay? We're, that's, that's not fitting. But now you have an attic, okay? And I'm thinking, th these windows were looking a little sparse on the back here, so let's go ahead and just fill those in. And see, that looks nice. Now, we do have an attic area up here, okay? So, l let's get inside the build before we start doing windows in the attic. We need to designate the difference, okay? So, I'm going to use spruce uh, slabs, not the wall material. I'm going to use another material that sort of counteracts that material and makes the build feel a little more... Uh, a little more filled in but right here there's those slabs so we can just fill those in you don't want to have gaps in your build just random gaps that's never good but on the top half of this block so this is a full block and it's a half block we're gonna fill it in on the top half of that block and this is gonna make us have a pretty roomy attic and it's not really gonna take away from the uh, ceiling height in the bottom part of our build now of course you're gonna need a way to get up and down so let's go ahead and devise a way. So a break between windows is a great place to put a ladder. So we can just put a ladder like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, guys. It's just a ladder. And, you know, I mean, you're not going to find many ladders in modern day houses, but they don't look bad in Minecraft builds. I mean, it's just, it, it's utility. It's utility. So let's go to the outside here. Or actually, let's go to the inside of this. And let's make everything look a whole lot better. So I put torches there, but honestly, I'm thinking windows right there and there are gonna look a heck of a lot better you could even do them something like that a big window and then you could put torches on the outside for when it's not day you put a torch right there it doesn't really matter torches are one of those things where I mean I wouldn't put them on the floor but pretty much anywhere on the walls they're not gonna look bad that doesn't look preferable so I'm just gonna remove it just because we're trying to make this house as good as possible now another thing you could do is take so we did spruce half slabs for this this layer right here but if you take stairs you can make everything have a little bit more depth it's all about depth guys so we're just gonna go around here and again it doesn't take away from the ceiling space hardly at all really all it's doing is just making this top layer look a little more fancy and there's nothing wrong with that we're gonna place the stair at that angle so it makes it look like it's kind of coming out of uh, if I can get the freaking stair <laughs> what just happened Did I break the torch there we go just something like that wait what was I no like that yeah that, uh, that's the most extreme angle I can get sorry about that but yeah so that's gonna make your le let's, let's not do that actually on that one because we can't on the other one so see what I mean that adds a heck of a lot of depth to in here I think that looks nice so let's get to the outside let's see how everything looks so far so that is a lot better than how that looked not the best house in the world guys but again it's this is not this is not some super fancy house this is more of like a like a hey you can do this to your build and make it look better I'm just trying to give you tips so windows are something that you can frame with trapdoors for instance it can make it look like some shutters and it looks a little bit better okay it, it, it's not the best thing in the world but sometimes trapdoors can just make your builds really pop for instance we can take some spruce trapdoors right here and we could line these bottom locks okay now hear me out you're thinking, Neo, that, that, that looks a little funky, but let me do it on all of them. And then we're going to look at it, and you'll see what I mean. You don't want to use the same trapdoors you use for the shutters, because that could get a little get a little tricky. Get a little tricky. But uh, at the same time, look at that, okay? That just looks better. It looks like they're, the supports are framed somewhat. And is, isn't that cool? I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Now, another thing you can do, okay? We've got these windows here. You can take slabs. You can take spruce slabs which is just an alternate material so when we build here it's going to sort of contrast and what we can do is we have all these windows right here okay we're going to put stairs in between them all you're thinking Neo what are you doing what are you doing we're going to put some fence on top of those we're then going to sort of frame the windows like this okay you see what I mean that just adds all that depth and it makes the windows look like they're protected let's do the same sort of thing here but we're going to have to go one down okay we're gonna have to, oh, my cat is crazy. She climbs my headboard all the time. It, it really bothers me. I wish you'd stop, but try telling a cat to stop doing something. They, they don't really listen. Okay, but do you see what I mean? You can make your windows look framed, and it makes it look a whole lot better. Now, it's not for every single build. You shouldn't do this on every single build you've ever done. But on some builds, you see, it can just make things look a little bit, a little bit better and a little bit fancier. So let's do the same sort of thing here. And boom. Now our windows look a little better. 
Now, I don't like how that one was one up, so we're just gonna put them on the floor. I think I did the same sort of thing over here. W what layer did I put them on? No, I, I put them on the bottom layer of the glass. Sorry about that. So I just put the stairs back at the bottom layer. I don't know why I cut the video out there. I probably shouldn't have. But yeah, see that? That can make your house look a lot better. And then we can frame the doorway. And instead of having the doorway be like that, we can just put some stairs there, or some uh, slabs there, sorry. And look at that, that already looks a heck of a lot better. Now, let's go over here. We got a long window, we got a long boy over here. Okay, so let's put some upside down stairs. Let's put some fence, and let's make it a long boy. There you go, that's all you gotta do. And then at this point, we can pretty much remove these because we already have covers for the windows. We don't really need this part of the roof. Just a little bit extra that you really don't need. Uh, but at the same time, that, that kind of made it look nice. I don't know. It might be a little bit much to have these on a house this small, but at the same time, again, that's just an idea you can do. Is it the best build in the world? Again, I cannot express this enough. It's not supposed to be the best build in the world. But we're going to make this look a little bit better because I think it, I thought it looked a little bit weird. So there we go. Cool. So let's do the same sort of thing over here. So start at the bottom half and then go up and then go down to the bottom half again. There we go. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much it for the exterior of the build. You could add things like a chimney or something. If you wanted to add a chimney, let me tell you how you go about that. Okay, so you don't want to put it in the center like this, and you don't want it to be four by or two by two and it's this small. Otherwise, you're going to end up with something like this. And let me show you how that looks. That looks a little weird, okay? For a house this size, I'd go with a chimney this size, and I wouldn't put it in the center. I'd put it somewhat above where the furnaces would be. So maybe we want the chimney, and you don't want to put it on the top, okay? Sorry about that. You want to put it where the stairs are. So let's put it like right here, okay? And let's just have it extend a little bit up from the house. And see, that's just something that can add some texture to your build. It can just make it look better. Um, there's a couple of things you can do. You can take these cobwebs. If you have silk touch, you can you can get these cobwebs. If not, don't worry about it. I think you can craft them even now. But all you have to do to place them is build some scaffolding and just sort of place them like that. And you got some nice smoke coming out of your build. See? Look at that. Not bad, not that bad, is it? I don't think so. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can think of anything else to do. All right, so I've actually thought of something pretty cool, okay? So not on the front of the house, but on the side of the house. You see, we've got these little spaces in between the stairs. You can put dirt there, let the grass grow, and then you can take these same trap doors that you used to line that area, and you can put them there. You could take some plants, so I'm just gonna use blue orchids for time blue orchids for time's sake because I don't wanna select a bunch of flowers. But you see how that looks? It looks a heck of a lot better. Just because, well, to be quite frank, it just makes it look better. Um on the back, I did not do the same sort of thing. I'm not really sure. They're all on the bottom block, so we might as well make it uh uh, uniform with the rest of the build. That's another thing. Uniformity in builds is good, okay? If you do a style on one side, you should probably do it on the other. Asymmetry is good, but at the same time, let's see. Oh, it's because those windows are too high, so we're just gonna have to put the fence up one more and then just leave those there. And it doesn't look bad. It still looks uniform, still, still sticks with the style of fence and everything. So in between these blocks, again, we have the same sort of thing going on. So we can just put some flowers right here. Maybe put a cobweb there. I'm just kidding, but I could put a cobweb. And then over here, we got the same sort of thing going on. Just one big planter. I wouldn't put them, like, right here because, well, you know, to be quite frank, you can't really get in there. I've, how many times I said to be quite frank? Can someone count and let me know in the comments? Because I felt like I've said it an excessive amount. But, uh, yeah, l let's just go ahead and bring these down to sort of, like, keep it the style. We can break that block there. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It really isn't. And then let's go ahead and put these upside down stairs. I know I said I didn't want to do that, but now that I'm adding these planters, I think they'd look especially good in the front of the build. And then, yeah, of course, you can just sort of variate the flowers. Let me do that. And guys, as I'm varying flowers, don't forget about ferns, okay? Ferns are slept on. I think they look great. I wouldn't put a piece of grass necessarily in it. That'd look a little weird. But the ferns, I don't know. I think they look kind of pretty. So make sure you use a variety of things, okay? Don't use the exact same flowers for every single spot. Otherwise, look a little weird. I was just doing that. I, I got in a hurry. I don't know why, because I can always just pause the recording and take as long as I like. But yeah, as you can see, everything looks nice. Now you're thinking, hmm, 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 there's no light on the front of the build, and you're right. There is no light in the front of the build. There's not really a spot to put it. Now, if you wanted light, for example, if you're in survival, you can make a path up to your house that's like coming like something like that, and it, and it just comes up to your house, and you can place torches on them, and then you can make the front of the, your house sort of lit up. If you wanted to, you can modify something and be able to put like, for instance, torches right there, but you can't really on this build, and that's not a huge deal. But if you did want the outside of the build lit up somewhat, you could put 
torches just right here and it won't it won't detract from how the build looks really at all if anything it makes it more catered towards survival uh, what did i do oh I, I removed something and didn't put it back that's exactly what i did let me go ahead and fix that for you guys we'll do the same sort of thing um let's take these slabs Ah, uh, you guys don't want to watch. I built this like three times, but uh, I'll just force you to watch it. I'm just kidding. You could you could turn off the video right now and never hear my voice again. That that's okay. You're allowed to do that. This is America, or whatever country you're watching it. I'm sure you have the right to do that. But uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Awesome. That's much better than a box. Okay. Let's go to the inside. Okay, because the interior. Well, to be quite honest, and I, I'm not gonna say it to be quite F R A N K. I can't say that again. But we've got two floors now. We've got double the floor, like like double the square footage to build with. But let's make this interior just pop. Let's make it look a lot better. We've got a lot of windows in here, so we've got a lot of night, lot of natural light in here. And I think there's a lot we could do. So yeah, let's do the inside. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna take this crafting table. We're just going to delete it. We're gonna grab these materials, but we're also going to just break them for now. I see a good opportunity for a cool bedroom, okay? So we've got this nice centered area. It's a two block wide area, and that's perfect, okay? Something cool you can do with your beds is we're gonna put some fence around it. You're thinking, whoa, 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 you're gonna put a fence around my around my my bed? Yes. You, do you see that? Okay. That can make a build make a whole build. No. It, it can make your bed look better in a build. Okay, it's just nice and framed and it looks like it's a little more secluded. I wouldn't do something like that. That's a little much for a build of this size, but something like that can really just make your bed pop. Um, bookcases, if you have access to them, they just look pretty. And you could put them on either side, okay? You could make it look nice. We could take some pots. If you have clay, and if you don't or if you if you don't have clay, get it because it's gonna make your builds look a whole lot better. Honestly, if you put pots in just random spots. <laughs> that rhymes pots and random spots and then you just put flowers in them look how much flower you can see okay i'm a guy flowers still look good doesn't matter who you are flowers are always gonna look pretty can't get past that that's just that's just mother nature at work so that looks cool for the bedroom now as far as chest storage goes don't be don't be shy you, you can go ahead and block some windows because you're gonna need chests and survival but i'm gonna try to block as least windows as possible and i don't know why minecraft allows you to do that but see from the outside does it really look that bad no it just looks like you got some chests into your build and i hope you have chests otherwise you're not gonna have anywhere to store anything now another thing you can do is frame okay we're gonna frame the chests do you see that just putting some trap doors on the side of chests makes it look so much better uh, if you're not good at organizing chests, start because it's going to make your life a lot easier. All we're going to do to organize the chests is we're just going to put item frames on them. Let's say you have an ore chest. I don't know how you'd have ore. Let's just do like an iron chest. We'll just call it an iron chest. That's where you'd put all your mining stuff, your diamonds, and every, or your, just your metals. Okay, we could have a chest with diamonds and other like redstone and lapis and stuff like that. And then maybe a junk chest for some cobblestone. Okay, but that's not the end. Let's go up here, and we've got lots of room for chests, okay? And lots and lots of room. So we're just going to put chests right here. And yes, I know, for some reason, you can do chests like this now. I, I've, I'm still a little, a little weirded out by that, but at the same time, I kind of like it. So now we've got some extra chests up here, which is always nice. Um, remember when I said we want to put the, uh, the furnaces near where the uh, actual chimney is well look okay we could fit four furnaces in right here or you could just do them like that i think they'll look a little better uh we'll just leave those there whatever and then now it looks like your chimney is near your furnaces and that's always good now you could have roof access if you want roof access that's you know that's cool okay let's let's make some let's make a little roof access port don't put your trap door on the same block because well you can get up now so i guess it doesn't really matter but used to you had to put it like on this side that way you could actually get up and down but you can't put a ladder there, can you? No. But you can still crawl all the way up, and now you got roof access. If you want to come up here, you could put some fence up here. I don't really know why you do this, and I don't know how this is going to look. So let's let's just make sure this doesn't look too terrible. And we, and we can leave it if, it if it doesn't. Or if it does look too terrible, we'll just break it. But you could do something like this and have a nice little uh, a nice roof area. And I think that's pretty cool. could top these with some slabs just like this. And look, now you got access to your roof, and does that look bad? No, I think that actually it adds a lot to the build, because now you can get on the roof, and you can have, for instance, a chest up here, okay? If you're trying to fight off some mobs, you want to go outside, do a night mining mission, well, it's kind of hard to do a night mining mission when you when you can't really get out of your get out of your house. So let's go ahead, and what you could do is put some slabs, like right there, 
and that way you can get up on here and fight but I'm just gonna put a chest like right here and we're gonna fill it with some bows and some arrows and let me do that real quick so I should be able to get enough in here there we go that should be enough for your fighting needs maybe a little excessive but again guys even if it's a chest up here let's say it's an outdoor chest okay you gotta frame it okay because otherwise it's just it's gonna get real dirty and stuff and look now you got a cool chest if you wanted to go above and beyond why did I do that <laughs> why did I do that I wanted to move the chest so I know why I did that but I don't know why I actually thought that that was a great idea because it was full of stuff but what I was trying to say is you could make this chest a little more integrated into your roof and for example put it like right there now no, no spiders can really crawl up well actually I lied spiders could definitely crawl straight up here and get you but you could defend your house or you could defend your base and as far as that goes um okay so we're just going to modify the roof a little bit it looked a little funky that you couldn't like get like around up here or you couldn't like the fence was just there was just a hole and see from the outside this doesn't look that bad it just looks like now you have a nice ceiling on your roof but we're gonna make the chimney a little taller and I think that would help the build look a little well we, we don't want it that tall actually we'll just leave it this height it honestly doesn't really matter we'll just go ahead and put all that back yeah see that still looks good okay now another thing is the chimney is the same material as the uh, as the like rest of the build so let's go ahead and change that okay let's use and see that that really is like right on the furnaces which is pretty cool let's use some brick okay a little bit of a little bit of variation with the materials we're using and maybe go up one more block just like that and perfect now we got a nice chimney on the build and of course we have a chest here filled with bows and arrows there we go back to its former glory <laughs> I'm so funny okay I can't do that again I got a middle click like this and it's really weird and I, I, I'm just done with doing that I'm done with messing around we'll, we'll make it look a little bit cool just just somewhat cool let's just go ahead and do something like this oh yeah look at that isn't that pretty cool and let's go ahead and line the outside and then maybe you want a stack of you just you just want furnaces up here okay there you go now you got a nice chest area with with, with you can put whatever you want in it. I'm just messing around but yeah now you got a roof area which is pretty cool so let's uh, let's come back down to the chimney let's <laughs> to the chimney let's come back down into here let's add some armor stands armor stands recently added into the game and they can really bring up how your build is looking because they fit and they're just they're just something to fill some space so these torches we're just gonna break them don't need the torches who needs light inside the build not me you don't need light you can just oh I grabbed two pants okay no no boots on these I guess well let's see if we can just grab some leather boots real quick but yeah armor stands are really cool now this is a um, uh, this is like a like a big what am I trying to say this is this is not a big deal if you have to put your torches on the ground right there it's really not gonna matter that much and if it really really is just irking you break that block right there and just put a torch down and it's not gonna hurt anyone's feelings you could even make it look a little prettier with something like that if you wanted to I'm just gonna leave the stairs just for uh, congruency sake but yeah that looks pretty cool so that's the attic another thing you can do okay believe it or not is carpet okay now you're thinking okay so let me just fill in some carpet and I'm gonna tell you no don't fill in the carpet all the way that's that 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 just looks a little bit weird okay I don't like that at all this is my favorite color of carpet I I, I love this carpet but it, it too much of it just looks a little weird so what I'm what I'm gonna tell you it seems a little counterintuitive but we're gonna randomly place it okay we're not gonna have any set pattern and it's gonna look a lot better than it would be if it was just solid carpet would you do this in real life no but in Minecraft it actually looks pretty cool so we've got a furnace area up here we've got chests so everything's nice and built out another thing you can do is you can add a nether wart growery can we can we, add, can we add that in this build should I even have said that no but if you know my builds you know I love building those things just cuz I, I, I don't really know why but I just build them a lot yeah we're just gonna fill in all this with carpet again try to make it look somewhat random yeah there you go now you got a nice carpeted area somewhat just a sort of random carpet and I don't know why but it just looks better like that I, ca I can't explain it I can't put it into words but yeah it looks cool so let's fill out the rest of this room of course if you're why do I have bedrock yeah well okay so we're just gonna put some bedrock right here and build some yeah that 
Okay, so crafting tables. I All jokes aside, crafting tables can go under things. They're still fully accessible, and they look good on the floor, okay? I don't know why more people don't put, like, a lot of crafting tables, like, just a bunch. I don't know. I, I wouldn't put them, like, on the roof. I'd put everything on the floor, but do you see that? They're sort of hidden, but you can always access them. Um, an ender chest is definitely a necessity in a build. You, you might want an ender chest. You might not want an ender chest, but at the same time, you, you probably want an ender chest. So let's go ahead and just move this here. Let's put the ender chest down on this block. There we go. Doesn't block too much of anything, really. Let's put a crafting table next to this chest just so that area is filled out a little bit more. Looking good, looking good. Now, over here, we don't have a whole lot of room. And we already have everything you really need for this build. So let's grab that varying wooden material and let's make a table. So let's just break out this area. The table doesn't necessarily have to be even, but I don't want to end it too close to these chests. Maybe, actually right there is fine, honestly. And then we're going to take some slabs and we're just going to fill those blocks in. And now you've got a table. Now, what, what can you put on a table? Let's say you killed your friend in multiplayer and you just want to put a player head down. There you go. And that would definitely have the skin. Let's say you killed a skeleton, or a, let's say you killed a, a creeper, and you got the head. I don't know how that happens. I, I don't. I think it, there's an enchantment for it. Now, in between those, you could take some pots, okay? And let's go ahead and put that torch back. Just we have enough torches in here. We'll put pots in the middle, and then don't forget you can plant saplings. And saplings always look very nice. We're gonna plant a jungle and a cacti. Because cacti is the best, and it looks cool. And that's pretty much it. You can make your box into a house that rocks with these tips and tricks and hacks and whatever else I've told you that helped. I really do genuinely hope that I have helped your builds get better. If I have, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read and reply to every single comment, unless, of course, things get too crazy. But as long as I'm not getting a 1,000 comments a day, I can try to reply to every single one, and I have been, for the most part. But yeah, this looks a whole lot better than this okay this house yeah it had one floor i uh, had everything you need i guess but i'd much rather live in this house wouldn't you so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this and uh specifically i usually do tutorials but i try to do i try to mix it up and do videos like this every once in a while but if you want to see stuff like this click the subscribe button you get notified when i upload make sure to click that bell because youtube is not good about notifying subscribers in new videos i don't even know how to click the bell I use YouTube, but I don't know how to use that little bell, so if you know how to use it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, please click that bell if you subscribe. It'll help you see the videos more so you can be helped. Again, all I'm doing is showing you how to build stuff. I'm not trying to sell you anything. But uh, yeah, uh, if you liked the video, if you could leave it a like, that would really help. If we could get a 1,000 likes for this, that would help my channel so, so much, and I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone who watched. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it all the way through. I ramble a lot, so you're a trooper. You uh, you deserve a uh, comment back from me, or you deserve a you deserve an ice cream cake. How about that? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Shader pack, texture pack, all that stuff's down in the description below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Bye.